Throwing our guy, what do we have here? Yeah, just some uh, pencil and everything. Some of y'all saw my recent video that is on this sheath for the uh, strong arm. If anybody remembers the uh, Gerber strong arm, I love the knife. It works great. Watch my review on it, and you know, I'll just do a quick review talking about how good it feels. But I hate the sheath. I mean, the sheath works great, but there's no good belt attachments. There is some videos out there on the internet on uh, you can make stuff for it and whatnot like that because everybody seems to have a problem with this sheath. All right, here's the idea. I've got a piece of scrap Kydex here. Uh, just I've got more, but I had this piece of scrap and I want to see if I can make something out of it that will work. The goal is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut out two slots so that it fits in there. And then it's going to be locked in by the molly stick if you were watching my review like so on two of them it'll go in there like that and lock it in and then it's also going to have two drill holes right here and here so that a couple of screws go in and it's going to make a rigid piece and you're like well why would you want to do that well if i have that rigid piece or adapter because some of you have seen i have another knife sheath adapter that i made one time then i'm going to attach two belt clips like so that go on the back of the adapter so that hopefully it will fit on my belt. Because the problem is all the floppy stuff they have, it either hangs really low and it's almost like you need uh, a leg strap or something to hold it, or you have to sit it real high and it kind of sticks you in the back. I mean, <sighs> believe me, I've tried at least 20 different ways to try to carry it. If you see my other review, I say, hey, it works great if you have it for the Molly attachment on the vest or if you want to carry it in a horizontal carry on your belt, this adapter fits in like so and carries it horizontally behind you or wherever you want to carry it, but there is no good vertical belt adapter for it. They really messed up on one part, and I'd say most people out there carry it vertically on their belt. So I'm going to get to work on this. I'll keep you updated with the progress, but you know what? I'll be right back. Okay, here's where we are now. I traced out two of these right here and here. The goal is gonna to be to use the grinder and or the Dremel and cut those out. You don't have to watch me do it, just letting you know the steps we're going through. And then I'm planning on heating the Kydex and getting a good tight fit on here to make sure it's gonna work out properly. Let's see how it's gonna go. Okay, where we are now, I've got it cut out. I think I got the measurements almost right. It should be a pretty tight fit and it will almost go on there, which means hopefully when I heat it up, it will slide on there and make a good fit. So I'm about to heat this Kydex up and then we'll get back to it. Okay, the update, I've got this thing heated up and I, I put it on there and pressed it. It fits pretty good. Uh, some of y'all are probably like, okay, this thing might end up working after all. Okay, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, to be honest. All right, so this part is working. Would it hold like this? The answer is probably yes, but now I've got to make the holes and stuff for the rest of the plate to hold on and run a couple of them through here. Uh, we'll see, is this going to work? I'm still not, not convinced yet, but all right, we're going to keep working on it. I'll let you know the progress. All right, I got the holes drilled and I got the hardware put in for Kydex mounting. It just looks like that. I just now popped them in there. I still, we're going to see if this is going to work and I'm going to keep working with it for a little bit. Uh, theoretically, <laughs> it's going to work. Let's do a little test fit here while I got this thing out. This thing may, uh, may go haywire. All right, that little bracket fell out. I'll get that popped back in. Some of these tolerances are a little bit tight. All right. All right, I think, I think that's going to fit right. And then when I get done and tighten it down, I'm going to heat it up with the heat gun a little bit and then tighten them down a little bit more. All right, uh, I'm gonna keep messing with it. I'm gonna get these on there, get these uh, screws put on the other side, and then we're gonna see how it's gonna work, and I'll try to get this put in there. All right, I'll be right back. Let's, let's mess with it a little bit more here. All right, here's where we are now. I've got these uh, tightened up in here, but there's a problem. This lip, I've gotta cut the excess off so that these fit without pressing against it right there. So, so far, it looks like it's working. I was not sure this was gonna work when I started messing with it, but it looks like it's gonna make the right uh, attachments for me for the belt and to sit about where it should and have just the rigidity that it needs so you can pull it out, but still not be too rigid. All right, I'm gonna uh, take these, take this back off. I'm gonna cut this off. Let me go ahead and draw just a little line about where it's gotta get cut. All right, and we'll be back. 
Okay, this is getting hairy. All right, I got it cut off here. I actually just did it with the Dremel because uh, it's not really going to show when I put the brackets on there. I mean, uh, yeah, it may be ugly, but it's about to be uh, functional here in a minute. Got my spacers about to go on here and then four screws to hold these in. And uh, we'll see the end product once I get this done, hopefully. Okay, I got the attachments put on here. It seems to work all right. Um, I mean, I probably could have done better if I hadn't used a scrap of Kydex that I had here. And I kind of heated it up and made it mold. So the reason it's got a little bit uh, more flexibility in it. I, I have it where it's a little bit flexible, as you see. It's not totally rigid. That way you can kind of pull it away from your body and pull out and then put it back in. Um, now we're going to see, will this fit on the belt? So... I mean, I could have done a more professional job, but this was kind of an experiment. It looks like it's going to work all right. Yeah, let's get on with the recap. Well, for the Strongbow the knife adapter, it seems to fit good. It fits behind the back, as you see. It has a little bit of play in it, but not so much that it's flopping around and it's not pressing and digging into me, so I do like it. I mean, this thing seemed to work pretty good. Um, I gotta say, I'm happy with it. Uh, you can let me know your thoughts on it if you've tried to make anything else to make it work. Uh, there's a few other videos out there on how to make some stuff, but uh, I don't know. That, that was the best thing I could think of, and what all, all I had was a piece of scrap, and it seems to fit on there pretty good. If you go on the inside, it seems to lock in good, and it's not going to come out. So, you know what? Sometimes things are ugly, but they're functional, and that's all I need. That's a regular guy's opinion.